Hello and welcome back to our Software Ideas Modeler tutorial series. Today, we're diving into the nuances of adjusting relationships and entity relationship diagrams. We'll be working with our Enrollment ER diagram example, focusing on the department entity. As you can see, our department entity is not ideally located for our diagram's clarity. We want to move it to be positioned between the class and teacher entities, specifically above teacher and below class. Let's do that. All right, now that we've moved it, you might notice something odd. The relationships are routed in a rather strange way. This unusual routing is due to the lock to fields setting in our diagram. By default, relationships try to point to specific attributes, in our case, the department ID attribute. To adjust this, simply select the relationships you want to modify. Then right click on one of them and a context menu will appear. Hover over the locks submenu as you can see, set lock to fields is currently checked. Click on it to uncheck this option. Notice how the relationships now point directly to the target entities, eliminating any unnecessary detours. This change affects only the visual representation on the diagram, not the actual model level connections between entities. Our ERD looks much more polished and easier to understand. Remember, Software Ideas Modeler provides this flexibility to ensure your diagrams are not only accurate, but also visually appealing and easy to interpret. That's all for today's tutorial on adjusting relationships in ER diagrams. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks to enhance your diagramming skills. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Software Ideas Modeler tutorials. See you in the next one.